Hello, it's Morgan. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that bell notification if you want to get notified when I post a new YouTube video. And subscribe and like this video. Um, I just want to say that God is doing great things right now um, in my life and he can do it for you too. Um, but I wanted to also speak on um, just the fact of waiting on him. So like, I don't feel like just getting any random job right now. Cause if you know me, I do, I have struggled with anxiety a lot. Um, and I do a little bit, you know, struggle with it kind of a lot <laughs> and other things. And I don't want to just work for some random company because usually that doesn't turn out well for me. Um, and also I like being my own boss and um, all of that good stuff, but Jesus is restoring in me the want of like being able to want to draw, being able to be creative again. And I wanna get into like painting as well, but I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about that considering, um, you know, I don't have like an art studio or anything right at this moment. So maybe in the future I will. Um, that'd be very cool. I'm still trying to get my GED, which I've been working on, so that's really cool. Um, also, I think it's very important that I have a relationship with him now more than ever, just because, um, I, I just like that he's there for you all the time. And, you know, some people are going to say, why believe in Jesus? That's outdated. But the Bible never changes. That is one thing that doesn't change. So... I know that he's real for more than that reason. Um, and I spoke on this in previous videos. And I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, so your channel changed to Christianity and like heavy like religion. Honestly, Jesus isn't really religion. He didn't come to con condemn um, anyone. He actually wants to work with you through all your issues and problems. But um, yeah, besides that, like I believe that he's going to help me through the things that I talked to him about. He's literally my best friend because he is the one that knows about everything inside me. Things that I probably don't even know about myself. Um, no, that I, I know that he knows things I don't know about myself. But um, also with that, I have been struggling with being lonely. Like I've mentioned this in previous videos as well. And I just trust in him that he's going to bring me friends, family, and um, just... I'm not going to be lonely anymore because of him, you know, and I, and I believe, you know, sometimes it takes a while because, um, there could be certain, certain things in the spirit that is like, um, making it harder it's just because God allows us time. It doesn't mean that, you know, God doesn't tempt anyone that's written in the Bible, but, um, you know, Anyway, to continue, I'm very excited for my future just because Jesus is in it now more than I ever have been. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to get more creative. I drew it last night. It was um, a simple rose and kind of a simple design, but I do want to get more like in depth in like my drawings and hopefully paint in the future and other stuff because I really do enjoy being creative. And if you knew me when I was younger, you would know I picked up a pencil and just started like drawing from like a really little kid. I think I was like two when I first started drawing stuff, but it might not have been like the best looking drawings, but like I've always had that creative streak when I was like, from when I was little. And it, and you know, creativeness comes in all different kinds of forms. It comes from drawing, you know, picking outfits, being fashionable, like <laughs> um, taking pictures, you know. And if you are an artist, you know that, even if you're not an artist, you might like know that. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and share that beautiful, like, story with you. And um, also, like, how did I get saved is actually kind of a funny story. So, if you know me, I grew up in a Christian household, but um, I strayed away from God for a long time because I was mad. And do I still get mad at him sometimes? Yeah. But you can still talk to God when you're mad at him. It's not, he's not going to hate you for being mad at him. He de I don't think he hates anyone. Um, anyway, to continue, um, like, I don't know if I was like saved back then. 
like I would think about Jesus but truly I uh, had a lot of doubts but um, to continue um, this year I just accepted him in my heart and I believe that he walked on like this earth and I um, I just know that his he died on the cross for us and that's why we're able to conquer our sins and so you know, if I'm saying anything wrong, it's because I am a new believer and I'm studying the like, book, um, the Bible. Um, so I might not be saying everything right, but, you know, that's okay. Because, like, I know God doesn't, like, look down on me for that. But, yeah, it's hard to not make everything about God now because he's helped me so much. But basically, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell notification if you want to get notified when I post a new video. Because now I'm trying to come out with them left and right. All right. See you in the next one. Stay blessed. Happy Thanksgiving almost. All right. Bye.